Hi there, my name is Trolls. This is Studio Quartet Series Deep Solo Violin video number two. This library is so deep that we actually have to create three videos for it. I created the first video, which is about the sustains, the polyphonic legato, and all the short notes. This video here is about all our arcs, our boat articulations, and all our special effects arcs. And then we have a third video purely focused on ostinato and a variety of performance-based articulations. Um, we proudly claim that this library is ultra deep sampled and we stand by that. It is 88 different articulations that are each containing a variety of velocities and round robin articulations. It goes very, very deep. And in this video here, I'm only gonna be focusing on the arcs, the beautiful expressive arcs where we record both with one and two bow motions to get that sort of beautiful motion and movement that we can get in strings. And we can do a lot on the mod wheel. We can have an amazing amount of sustains in this library, but sometimes we need both the arcs and the sustains and legatos to go together. This is what it's about. And as you're about to see, these arcs go really, really deep. Um, it's not just your normal sort of version of arcs. They're velocity based, so based on how hard you play in the keys. We have multiple styles of vibrato. We have Sodino arcs, true Sodino arcs. We have Saltasto, Punchicello arcs. It goes way deep, tremolo arcs, if you will. Uh, but let's just get into the door and I'll show you what we got here. So if you notice here on the UI, we are right now in the boat section here. These are all the articulations available in the boat section and I've loaded them up over here as well. And uh, let me just take them from the top here. The first one here is a one bow articulation, meaning that there's only one bow stroke and this is with poco vibrato. So not that much vibrato, but it's still very expressive. And again, it's velocity based too. So depending on how hard you click on the keys, you get a more dramatic tone. So you can hear it's fluent on the keys, but let's say that we want to do the same thing. This was very expressive, a little bit soft, but let's take one with a little more vibrato, our molto vibrato, vibrato, vibrato. That was with one bow stroke, so you could control the amount of vibrato. Let's take it a step further and do two bow strokes so you get the natural up-down motion on the arc. Again, with poco vibrato or multi vibrato as well, um, you can choose whatever you want. Now let's take the same concept again, but this time with a crescendo-like arc. Again, starting with poco vibrato and then going to the more rich multi vibrato again. And you will see the same thing afterwards also replicated for true concertino or strings with mutes on. Um, it really does go deep. Um, what you probably can't see here is that it's also velocity based. Um, I'll try to play that a little more exaggeratedly um, later on in the video as well. Um, it's beautiful to have the arcs, but it's especially good to have them um, with velocity layering of different dynamics. It really makes them expressive within one patch alone. to one bow concertino.
And as you can hear, it just has emotions on the keys. I'm just holding down some keys and I can feel the emotion just like. This is where it's better than sustains. You feel the motion of the player, in this case, four players when I hold down four keys, but there's just that inherent, like natural emotion. It's both how the art goes up in dynamic, but it's also how it ties with the vibrato, the beautiful combination between dynamics and weaving in and out of vibrato. It's so simple, just. You just feel it. Um, let me also do the crescendo here on the Sodino. We also have this cool snatch articulation that's sort of more for a dramatic swooping kind of ending. But as I mentioned, these are, I would call them traditional arcs. You can control the amount of vibrato, the amount of bow strokes, whether you want sedino or not sedino, whether you want crescendo or snatch or all these things. But we went back and did the same thing again, but this time with more experimental or sort of alternative type of articulations like saltasto or punchicello. Um, let me show you right here. These are super cool. They're a little more sound effectsy, which is why we call them boat effects, uh, but they follow the same idea of an arc. Um, but with a more experimental sound, if you will. All right, so let's get into the boat effects articulation. You can see we have 15 different types of articulations. I'm gonna play some of them here, and then I'll play a few more over here. Let's start here with the one bow saltasto. Two bow saltasto. Crescendo Saltasto. And then we're gonna do the same thing again, but this time for Sol Panchicello. So a little more closer to the bridge. It has that weird kind of thin harmonic kind of quality to it. Um, super cool also when you tune it down. I'll try to do that too. and crescendos. And then you'll notice we have some plus signs down here for short, long, and crescendo cell punchicellos. The plus sign is even more dramatic, so they're pretty crazy in the way they are and sort of have that vivid expressive thing, but this is really pushing it so the player will normally play even more dramatic, faster on the bow as well, which creates these more complex sort of textures. And they're fun to tune down as well. Like you almost get into a Johan Johansson kind of. It almost sounds like an orchestra um, before they play the warm up. 
Crescendo Spore Soul Punchicello Plus. Now, that's a part of it, but we actually have more. Um, if you notice over here, we have 15. We made it down to Sol, Sol Punticello Plus. Um, we got six more articulations here. I actually have them loaded right in here. Uh, but let me show you something quick. If you ever wanna make your own articulation matrix, you can go into any articulation. You just click on it here. They automatically get assigned to your key switch. And this is how fast you can build your own um, articulation matrix. So it's really fast to use the 88 different articulations. But let me wrap it up here by just going through these six last motions. These are all based on tremolo effects, um, both with traditional tremolo arcs and tremolo punchicello. And we also have one, two, and crescendo bows for tremolo punchicello. Again, mad ultra deep sampling. And that's in essence the boat or art based effects, both in traditional form and more experimental. And I hope it just shows you how deep it goes. This is the second video. Again, out of three videos, we have the other one showing sustains, legatos, and short notes. And we have another one showing our ostinados and performance based articulations. And all this is encompassed in this one library. Uh, we wanted to try to really, really offer you the most comprehensive solo violin we could because we found a player that was absolutely golden and i hope you could hear the emotional quality in this library um, i also encourage you guys to when you use it don't just use it as a normal orchestral library for example when i hear the two bow um, punchicello here with tremolo i immediately hear other sort of textures You know, who's to say that we can't push the libraries and make them into something more? Uh, one of the beautiful things about having 88 articulations available is not only can you do completely realistic renditions of a solo violin and with true motions in all the samples, but you can also experiment and then break it apart and try new things. Sometimes I feel when I use libraries, I can't get the emotion out I want because there is no emotion in the samples. And for me, this one just speaks to me just hold down the keys and it does it and I feel it. Um, I actually found myself sort of waving around and being all like artsy uh, when I play this because it just, it touches me, it moves something in the heart. So I hope you feel the same. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.